in the stars is anybody there show me a twinkle a wink if anyone cares we are on the road to happiness peace and harmony can anybody join you even he he or me <clears throat> Miranda and Raul show that anybody can. If you turn your dream into a plan. They zoomed up to the stars yeah. to start a life anew. Yes, and everyone is welcome, even, even me, me and, and you. So come and visit Zyron any time of day. And if you really like our thinking, hey, you can even say. We met some strange new creatures. And do strange kinds of things. We enjoy the weird surprises. That every new day brings. Hey, and if you work hard. And if you play hard. And if you know you really tried, tried. You will realize that happiness is not out there. It's really deep inside. I said it's really if you were watching last week, you would have seen an incredible sight. You'd have seen the stars howling at the moon in misery. But today, no one is miserable because it's the day before the day before Christmas. Oh, wow! Give me a taste of the icing, Miranda. Oh, no, you don't, greedy guts. You can't have your cake and eat it. <laughs> this is strictly for Christmas Day, so you can stop drooling. <laughs> Tani Mampur's delicious Christmas cake recipe never fails. Just one bite! Okay, I'll give you a bite. Miranda wasn't the only one hard at work with Christmas preparations. Jingle bells, cooking smells of taking ham and pud. Tinsel treats upon the tree. Christmas is sounding good. How are the preparations going, you two? I hear a lot of laughter, but not much work. Don't be a bit brain. We've made amazing decor. Bubbles and bees and tinsel galore. Cool. Well, there's a humongous box in the treehouse for you to put it all into when you're finished. We know, we know, we know, we know, we know where, where to go. go. We, we know, know just what to do when we're finally, finally through. through. Okay, okay, I'll get the message. Don't get your tinsel in a twist. In fact, there were only two people who were not getting into the amazing Christmas spirit. Of course we are, you big poop dick! <laughs> I finished a whole bottle of Christmas spirit this morning! Who are you talking to, my little cabbage brain? I've absolutely no idea! <laughs> Oi, Santa, I hope you're listening. Uh, we've been good little toadies this year, haven't we, Bucky? Psst! Your face! Oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Very, very, very good. In fact, so good that we made a little list of everything we deserve for Christmas. Haven't we, Mr. Tony Wody? <coughs> and we'll read it to you so that you can get it all together for the day after the day after the day after tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, uh, just a few little gifts for me and Mrs. Toadstool. Oh, we want a double retractable whirring rock smasher. A solo power deluxe walk remover. A triple decker fast action flower crusher. Oh, wow. A oh, double wow. Oh, triple wow with a cherry on top. If you two don't close your mouths, you'll become fly catchers soon. That is the hugest, shiniest, mightiest, brightest, bodacious, outrageous tree I've ever seen. So, are you guys getting excited about Christmas yet? Oh yeah, only one thing worries me. The question of what sits on top of the tree. A Christmas tree without a fairy is like a caterpillar not being hairy. Nary a fairy at Christmas time. It's like a poem without a rhyme. Like Christmas pudding without a cherry. You can't have a tree without a fairy. Oh. oh dear, getting into the Christmas spirit is not as easy as it looks. 
important. Santa! Ahem. I hope you're still listening to us. We haven't finished our Christmas list yet. <laughs> now, where were we, my little warty nose? Oh, sometimes you're so stupid. We were up to present number 59, the self-cleaning nose hair remover. Who are you calling stupid, Frog Briggs? I'm the one who went to all the trouble of making out this list. And you left half the things I want off it. What kind of Christmas are we going to have if Santa doesn't know what he's meant to bring? Oh, give that big mouth of yours a rest. Hello? Huh? What do you want? Can't you see we're in the middle of a fight? Ow! Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's just that I'm so worried about Christmas. I wanted to buy the biggest, most expensive, beautiful present for Miranda. Uh, but there are no shopping malls here on Zyron. All I have for her is a bunch of wild flowers. Flowers? <laughs> Did you hear that? You want to give her flowers? <laughs> what a cheapskate. I knew it. Oh, this is terrible. This is going to be even worse than Christmas with Aunt Smokey. And I don't even feel like a slice of Miranda's Christmas cake anymore. Cake? Woo! Hmm. I wonder where they were in such a hurry to get to. If there's cake, those toads will sniff it out, especially Christmas cake. Here's the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. I'd rather eat the sprig of holly. Fa la 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 la. Uh, uh, I feel just a teeny bit uh... sick. Before long, it was Christmas, and sounds of peace and goodwill were heard all over Zyron. Oh no, I don't believe it. My delicious Christmas cake, all those beautiful decorations. I tell you, I figure out who did this. Toads! This, this whole, whole affair's got, got a toady smell. smell. We, we know those toads, we, we know, know them, them well. Oh no! Well, this Christmas is getting worse by the second. I bet even Aunt Smokey's having a better time. Well, go and take a look then, if you feel so strong. But I think once you've checked it out, you'll see you're wrong. Take a look if you think you dare, but I think you'll see Christmas is a time to share. <laughs> Ew, of all the cheap, I haven't had one Christmas card or present, and there's no point in putting up a tree where there's no one to even look at it. Oh, typical. Moan, groan, moan, groan. But, Raoul, that's just about all we've done today. At least we've had each other to moan to. Aunt Smokey's got no one. Who cares about cards and presents and a crummy old cake? At least we've got each other. Uh, and the whistlings. And me. What am I, huh? Chopped liver? <laughs> and you, Felix. You know what? I, I never thought I'd hear myself say this. Wouldn't it be cool if we could bring Aunt Smokey up for Christmas? Leave it up to me. Look, he's approaching Earth. Yeah, he's right on course for Aunt Smokey's garden. Uh, he, he's going a bit fast, though. Well, Felix, oh! use the brakes! <laughs> Ouch. What are you? What do you want? The fabulous Felix at your service. Well, you just listen to me, you moldy old feather duster. You can get back in your scrad hole because I'm not buying anything today. <laughs> Rahul wasn't kidding. She's a tough old bat. Oh, Smirky! How do you know my name? I'm here with an invitation from Rahul and Miranda. They'd like you to come and spend Christmas with them. Ah! Hui! You tell that pair of scabangas from that, uh, uh, will there be present? Oh, yes. And cake. Cake, you say? Come on. What do you say? They're dying to see you. Ooh, they are? Yes. Come on. All aboard flight, Felix. I'm afraid there are only none smoking seats on this flight. Oh, no! 
Of course, she moaned all the way there. The seat was uncomfortable, the feathers made her sneeze, and she wanted to stop off on planet Mars for a smoke break. It was a bumpy flight, and the landing was less than perfect. Remind me to travel with a different airline next time. Now where's the guy? Welcome, Welcome to Siron, on Smokey. Even Aunt Smokey couldn't dampen the Christmas spirit, and she soon found she did have things in common with the creatures of Zyron. Yeah, you must keep an eye on that Raoul. Don't let him boss you around. The toads were soon charmed by her. Christmas suddenly seemed like a whole lot more fun with everyone together, and Raoul discovered that you don't have to give fancy presents to people. It is really the thought that counts. <laughs> Thank you, Mummy. They're lovely. Merry Christmas. Merry, very, 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 very Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.